What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we're installing a Bodyguard Bumpers Active Cruise Control Relocation Bracket. Um, this is being done on Matt's car. It's not here in the garage right now. Um, refilming just this intro because we never really did one. Uh, we did a bunch of stuff with this car and it ended up being over a period of a few days because of different uh, we are missing parts and then getting other parts and him coming up here. So the videos are kind of chopped up and I'm trying to put them back together. And we didn't have any intro for this. So that's what this is. Anyway, I'm um, going to go ahead and switch back over to the footage that we had before when Matt had his Bronco out here and we did the active cruise control relocation. And we also did a couple other things, but those would be in other follow-up videos. So uh, thanks for watching and... Let's get into it. So now we are going to relocate the active cruise control. So it's gonna go from here to up here. And then we can lift the bumper so it lines up and then do the rear bumper as well. With these, the lights, when you just take these three screws out here, these, there's a bolt underneath and a zip tie. Yeah. I got news. I got more zip ties. Well, <laughs> and same over here. We'll let those dangle. Pull that off. It does have the front sensors, so there is an OEM wiring harness right here. It's hard to see, but it's right back there. Just a clip. If you don't have the front sensors. You don't have that wire. You don't have to worry about it. Um, with him, he does. So we'll disconnect that. Take this bumper off. straight out and then that exposes the three bolts on each one of these that are holding the bumper on once you take those off the whole bumper will slide right off of there for that let's I'll loosen up these lights up here so we're not yanking those off and we should be good to go. So we got the bumper off. Then we're gonna take the grill off next. To do that, first thing you have to do is take this piece out. Now there's a bunch of little pry tool things that we already pried out of there. And you can just take this air box off. There's another pin that holds that in. Then we can just go ahead remove this before if you have one of the higher higher ends where you have the camera camera cleaner uh, make sure you disconnect those here um, he does have the Oracle lights so we got these two wires running to the front I'm just going to go ahead and clip them and then we can yeah where they're already we'll thing resplice them. Re them so then Take these four 10 millimeters off and we should be able to pull this whole thing off of there. Then once you have everything disconnected, this will just pull right off. Yes. Just like when you take the uh, fender flares off, they sound not so pretty. Nah. Yeah. No, it doesn't look Could so bad. Worse. Yeah. So next thing we have to do is take this piece here off. which is is fun thing to take off but we gotta take this it just pops out on one side and then you can take the whole thing off in order to take the headlight out there's a bolt right down there which you can't get to until you take this trim off take the fender flare off because it does protect this part right here Took this lower valance piece off. All right, so both headlights need to come out. There's a screw on top there, 10 millimeter, a Christmas tree there, 10 millimeter there, then eight millimeter there. Same on both sides. Now they should just pull right out. There it is. And it's just a little thing that pops in there. So it shouldn't be that hard to get off. 
and then I clip, pinch, and pull. Okay. <laughs> now this should pull right off. And apparently that was not the right, well, it was one of the connections, but there's a second one down here too. Happens to be a Christmas tree going that's attached to it. There we go. Now that'll come away. Now, we did all that just so now we can disconnect this and reroute the cable. We gotta take this apart, take the cable out, run it up through here, and mount the mount this up here. take this cover off there's two clips at the top you gotta pull out and then the bottom will just pull off of there and then these three silver bolts are what we want to take off which are eight millimeter so we'll back those out and then that is your active cruise control module right there these two bolts here and then these two up here to take this whole shroud off so we can get to the back side now this whole thing can come apart. So now we gotta cut this wiring apart to separate these two bundles here. And then take this one all the way back to here so we can run it out. Alright, so so far I've had to split this whole um, wire loom apart and separate this plug and then the plug that goes to the active shutters down here. So now I'm just retaping this and then I'll start taping that side and then we'll go all the way up. All right, so we've got this all torn apart. We've got this wire separated and this is gonna go up to right about here. But before we finalize all that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this bracket together. So this is from Bodyguard Bumpers. This is the one that uh, Front Buster sent with the relocation kits. So we need to move this from its current mount over to this mount. And then this will get mounted into here. I guess like so. So we've been sitting here trying to figure out how to get this plastic screw out. And apparently it's not a plastic screw, it's just a stud and a little plastic insert that it goes into and it just pops right off of there. Of course now this last one doesn't want to pop off there. There we go. Yeah, so it just pops off. Now, that could have saved us a whole lot of time. Now we got to take these inserts out. It's probably easier from the back side to kind of squish in or not. Now, you guys, push these through. All right, so now we got this all apart. We've got the inserts out of here, which they just got pried out. Now, we're supposed to install these inserts here just so that when we install this it lines up and it's flush and we're not trying to bend these tabs or anything so then we flip that over there's inserts for the top as well but yeah there's enough just to get it thread started on all three of them I guess that'll Turns out that was enough thread I guess ideally we put this Through that way All right, and then so we're gonna put a screw in there and then one here one here All right now the reason this sticks forward some and it can't be completely flush because we have the connector on the back so it had to come out 
some for that connector to fit. Now if we go over to the Bronco, where this is going to fit is we need to take these two bolts out, slide this back underneath the hood latch, and then put those bolts back in, which will set this right here. So, and then we need to run our wiring. So our wiring will sit back there and we can route that behind everything and hook that up. So let's do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide that back behind there. And before we go any further, make sure that that lines up. <laughs> Beautiful. We are making progress. Let me go ahead and tape the rest of this up and we'll start putting stuff back together. This wiring just plugged in there. That's how it came up. Now we can zip tie that together and it's just running up under, back underneath. And I think that's good. So we could go ahead and put our bolts for this together, put our bolts down here together, and I think we are ready to just put everything back together. So that's what one, two bolts on here on both sides, then there's a bolt on top, and then a bolt on the front for these, and then four along the front, and everything here should be assembled. Then we could put our lights in and go from there. All right, so everything's put back together. Let's make sure we can Okay. Make sure we can close the hood. And that's going to wrap that up. Uh you can barely see back there behind there. Like if the if it was hot out and those Shutters. Sure, thank you. If the shutters were open, you'd be able to see it back there. Otherwise, none, none the wiser. It fits back there. Hopefully, it uh, it works well. Matt, you'll have to let us know how it works with the Oracle lights there. If there's any interference, if there's any change with the uh, riding. And uh, other than that, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again, Matt. Tattoo Matt. Matt 71. Yep. Tattoo Matt 71. Tattoo Matt 71. 71. On Instagram. On Instagram. Um, so thanks again. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>